Hey guys, what's going on today? So today is the official kickoff of the NFL season with a game uh, Dallas Cowboys versus the defending Super Bowl champion Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to cut right to the chase on that game. Buccaneers win. I'm going to go by no less than 17 points. And it's no disrespect to the Cowboys but they are not playing with Zach Martin. He's out because of testing positive for COVID, and he's not going to be back in time. Um, that defense, we have no idea what it's going to look like this year. Hopefully better than last year, at least for Cowboys fans. I'm not one of them. In fact, I don't particularly care for the Cowboys. But I will throw this nugget in there. If I have to pick between the Cowboys winning and a team led by Tom Brady winning, I'm cheering for the Cowboys tonight just for the sake of seeing Tom Brady lose. But I digress. The real reason for this video is I'm going to lay out my predictions for division winners for this season. Let's go ahead and start with AFC West since I think in AFC West, you have to run through Kansas City. You have to beat Kansas City to win the division. So, with that being said, I think Kansas City wins the division again this year. Uh, AFC South, Titans are a pretty good pick. The Colts are a pretty good pick. I think just from the sake of starting out of the gate early, 100% healthy, and you kind of know what to expect, I'm going to say the Titans will win the division, and the Colts will be a wild card team. AFC East used to run through uh, New, uh, New England for about 20 years. Now that Tom Brady's gone, and the Bills look good. They look really good um, with Josh Allen leading them at quarterback. So now that division, for a while at least, is going to have to run through Buffalo. So, yep, give me Buffalo. They win that division. <clears throat> AFC North. The Steelers, they could win it. The Ravens, they could win it if they're able to keep their offense consistent. And, I mean, gosh forbid, they're depleted at running back right now. They're like signing guys just to fill the running back room. Then there's the Browns, though. I will say this about the Cleveland Browns. They are, I think, a sneaky AFC championship contender. Like, I would not be surprised if we see the Cleveland Browns versus the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Championship game this year. Or it could be the Browns versus the Bills, depending on how all the seeding works out. <clears throat> or it could once again be Buffalo Bills in Kansas City for the AFC Championship game. But with that being said, you know what? Give me the Cleveland Browns. They win the AFC North. And the Ravens make it as a wild card. And so unfortunately, yes, I, I keep going back and forth. I think the one team that could knock the Colts out of the playoffs, because I think they could make it as a wild card, um, I think the one team that could knock them out is the Chargers, because I think the Chargers are pretty good. They're pretty solid. Uh, they are rallying around Justin Herbert, and with good reason. He's a great quarterback, great arm talent. And he's so poised for being as young as he is, which is dangerous. And I think the Chargers are the biggest threat for the Chiefs to win the division as well. But actually, I'm going to change my pick. Uh, Ravens and Chargers as my wild card teams. You can go ahead and put that on record. Chargers and Ravens are the wild card teams in the AFC. <clears throat> so now let's switch over to the NFC. I guess we can go ahead and start with the NFC South. I think the Saints are the biggest threat to the Buccaneers, but I think the Buccaneers win the division and the Saints make it as a wild card team. And this is where it's going to get really interesting the NFC West. Now, for some reason, I was just seeing this on Pat McAfee's show earlier today. They put up a projection of uh, the odds 
for all the different divisions and who's going to win each division and what their odds are. And for some reason, the 49ers were listed as the favorite to win that division. I think it's because Vegas wants you to bet on the Rams because I think the Rams win that division. The 49ers, they're just, you know, Jimmy G has injury concerns. Um, Kittle's coming off an injury-riddled year last year. Um, Nick Bosa's coming off of a, um, I forget, but it's Nick or Joey. Well, whichever Bosa brother is over there, he's coming off a torn ACL as well. So there's a little bit of like kind of getting recalibrated. And who knows, if Jimmy G struggles or he gets injured again, they could turn to Trey Lance. And, you know, there's just a little bit of unknown there. And so I think the Rams win that division. And then the Seahawks are the other wildcard team out of the NFC. Uh, NFC East. Uh, for me, it's either the Cowboys or the Washington football team are the two contenders to win that division. And let's face it, the second place team ain't going to make the playoffs because that's just typically how it goes in the NFC least, as everybody calls it. Myself included, I call it the NFC least. I think the Washington football team wins that division. And in fact, you can put this on record as well. I think they're the only team in that division that finishes with a winning record. Yep, you heard it here. Second, third, and fourth place teams in the NFC East do not finish above 500. Um, and then let's see. NFC North. That division currently runs through Green Bay with number 12, a quarterback up there. And... I think in spite of all the offseason drama, they win that division. So, there you have it. There are all my predictions for this year based on division winners, or four decision, or division winners. And So, let's just enjoy the season. Uh, we'll see if somebody goes undefeated. So, I think the two teams most likely to go 17-0 and and then win the Super Bowl are the two teams that were in it last year, Buccaneers and Chiefs. So, um, obviously, go Chiefs. Let's go get that Super Bowl trophy again. And I'll make playoff predictions later on as we kind of get closer to that time of the season. But have a great day.